the ZTE MC889. APRO has already shown impressive results in our previous tests. Powerful speeds, solid stability, and excellent handling of 5G signals. But today, it's facing the ultimate challenge. We're connecting to a 5G base station more than six kilometers away. The same extreme long range setup we used in our parabolic antenna experiment. Previously, its little brother, the non pro version, surprised us by hitting nearly 500 megabits per second using a parabolic antenna. This time, there's no parabolic antenna, no tricks, no external boost, just the pro version on its own, with its high gain integrated antenna for the N78 band. Can this monster break the record? This is the exact same setup we used in our previous video with the parabolic antenna. The distance to the base station is a whopping 6.5 kilometers. We're also using the same frequency bands as before, so the conditions are directly comparable. No shortcuts, no changes. We're starting by mounting the router to the stand using a temporary setup. The first attempt didn't go quite as planned. This beast, with the mount included, weighs over two kilograms. While cable ties were more than enough for the lighter non-pro version, this one proved to be a different story. It needs more friction and stability to stay in place. So we had to make a few quick adjustments to secure the router properly before moving on with the test. With some extra friction and a more stable grip, the router finally held its position. Not perfect, but good enough to get signal readings and start the actual testing. The very first test already delivers an impressive result. Nearly 500 megabits per second on the download. That's an incredible start, considering the distance and the fact that we're using only the built-in antenna. But if we take a closer look at the upload speed, it tells a different story. It's clear the alignment isn't yet optimal. Even a slight angle can make a big difference when you're dealing with long range, high frequency signals like N78. So before we celebrate, let's fine tune the setup and see what more we can get out of it.
Now we've pretty much hit the sweet spot. Download speeds have climbed past 600 megabits per second, and that's without any external antenna. This thing is an absolute monster when it comes to built-in antennas. The upload speed has also improved and holds up surprisingly well, especially considering the distance to the base station. Let's try increasing the angle just a little more. Even a small adjustment can have a noticeable impact, especially on uplink performance. The performance is still solid, but not quite as good as before. It's clear now that the previous angle was definitely the sweet spot. This slight change caused both download and upload to dip just enough to confirm it. We've returned to the optimal angle, and now it's time to switch over to NSA mode. Looking at the signal values, it's clear that the 4G antenna performance isn't on the same level as the 5G side. But despite that, the overall result is actually quite balanced. While we don't reach the same peak download speeds as in SA mode, the upload speed doubles. The Pro version is still the king of the hill when it comes to built-in antenna performance. Its outstanding N78 capability makes it one of the best choices for long-range 5G, especially in rural areas. The only real downside? Weaker 4G antenna performance when 5G isn't available. But if you've got N78 coverage, this device delivers. If you found this test interesting, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've only just started exploring the limits of long-range 5G. In our upcoming videos, we'll take the parabolic antenna setup even further with new devices. The big question, can any of them beat the Pro's built-in antenna performance? You won't want to miss it. Mm -hmm.